Bhagat Singh was asked during his trial in the lower court what he meant by the word revolution. In answer to the question, he said, Revolution does not necessarily involve sanguinary strife, nor is there any place in it for individual vendetta. It is not the cult of the bomb and the pistol. By revolution, we mean that the present order of things, which is based on manifest injustice, must change. Producers or laborers, in spite of being the most necessary element of society, are robbed by their exploiters. The peasant who grows corn for all starves with his family. The weavers who supply the world market with textile fabrics has not enough to cover his own and his children's bodies. Masons, smiths, and carpenters who raise magnificent palaces live like pariahs in slums. These terrible inequalities and forced disparity of chances are bound to lead to chaos. This state of affair cannot last long and it is obvious that the present order of society in Medivaking is on the brink of a volcano. The whole edifice of this civilization, if not saved in time, shall crumble. A radical change, therefore, is necessary and it is the duty of those who realize it to reorganize the society on the socialistic basis. Unless this thing is done, and the exploitation of man by man and nations by nations is brought to an end, the suffering and carnage with which humanity is threatened today cannot be prevented. All talk of ending war and ushering in an era of universal peace is undescribed hypocrisy. By revolution we mean the ultimate establishment of an order of society which may not be threatened by such a breakdown. Revolution is an inalienable right of the mankind. Freedom is an imperishable birthright of all. Labor is the real sustainer of society. The sovereignty of the people is the ultimate destiny of the workers. This is our ideal. And with this ideology as our principle, we have given a loud and a fair enough warning. For these ideals and for this faith, we shall welcome any suffering to which we may be condemned. At the altar of this revolution, we have brought our youth as incense, for no sacrifice is too great for so magnificent a cause. We are content. We await the advent of this revolution. In Kerala,